Hey everyone, how does this mic sound? This is my new mic. How does it sound? This new microphone is awesome. I don't have to, I could hold it up. Hey everyone, anybody can hear me? <clears throat> everyone can hear me just fine. My new mic sounds a lot clearer, like I'm not drowning, right? Alright, let's kick off the night in style. <clears throat> uh oh. Oh, that, that didn't feel pleasant. Ow! Well, new microphone just fell on me. Alright, <clears throat> first match of the evening, Blue Crab. Hiroto Nakamichi. Two newcomers to the ever growing list of people that are coming in. Crab coming out. Those of you who don't know Blue Crab, you're in for a treat. Probably one of the best young talents we have out there today. Live from Full Sail. <laughs> That's true. Oh, this guy's an interesting story. Can't pronounce his name correctly. But he is on loan from another company, Hiroto Nakamichi. He's a young lion. He was sent from Kentucky Wrestling. So thank you, Kentucky Wrestling, for lending us your young lion. These two guys are young. They're hungry. They want to kick each other's ass for our enjoyment. And as you can see, Hiroko Nakamichi establishing the ground game, but Blue Crab busting out. Now, Blue Crab's not a newcomer. He's been on the scene for a while, but this is the first time he's been shown on one of these streams. And he's going to dress to impress. Drop toehold there from the blue crab. Elbow to the face from the young lion. Oh, dodges a kopu kick. Whipped him into the ropes, but he missed. Uh-oh, chopping him right to the head. Knock oh, they're going to the ground now. Locking the single leg crab. Oh, I'm sorry. Not a single leg crab, but leg vice. <laughs> These two guys jockeying for position. No one getting an upper hand. <laughs> These two guys are young lions. Expect a lot of shoot moves from Mr. Blue Crab. Oh, a high angle Boston Crab. Out to the back. No pun intended, of course. Whips him into the apron. Goes up. Nothing comes of it. The young lion expecting this. Probably watching his tape. Now working the leg of the 
Lee Crab, Mr. Nakamichi, the young lion from Kentucky Wrestling, or is it Keystone? Oh, again with the single leg vice. <laughs> that that that's very disgusting. Um, bull bugger. Oh, never mind. Well, those two guys are exchanging strikes. <laughs> One. Slamming him down with a takedown and now working the leg again. That strategy is going to pay off, but it's going to take a while to stretch out this young lion. If you haven't heard of being in the Japanese dojo, getting stretched out is pretty much a, day, a daily ritual for these young lions. Oh, backslide there, no. Snap suplex from the young lion. Now just slowing down the offense of the blue crab. Five minutes gone. <laughs> okay, full bugger. Okay, that's that's pretty nasty. <clears throat> Dragon screw there from the blue crab. <laughs> Knee to the face from the blue crab. Yet slowing down the offense is the young lion. Pressing a lot of people here. Oh, rolling chop! Blue Crab just says it doesn't hurt me! Now, trying to slowly choke the life out of the young lion. The young lion gets out. Back suplex there from the Blue Crab. A knee to the face from the Blue Crab. Backbreaker from the Blue Crab. Here we go, here comes some high-flying offense! Springboard jump kick but misses! And a Boston Crab of his own, a Young Lion staple. A crab on a crab. Oh, I get the irony in that. Going for a power bomb there. Oh, that might be it. One, two, no. Backbreaker. Oh, back suplex from hell! This young lion's probably gonna be out. Keto clutch here. No, the young lion's still kicking out. Uh-oh. Working that leg again. A nice kick there to the stomach from the young lion. Snap suplex from the blue crab. Both men are now starting to show signs of fatigue. Blue Crab having to work with all to reverse that suplex. Oh man, enough back suplex. These guys are going to be dropping each other on the neck today. Drop to hold there. Blue Crab saying peace out. Tito Clutch. Well, the young lion wasn't caught sleeping that time. Oh, Brave Buster! Oh, I think he's right by the rope. A scoop and a slam as he adjusts his...
the man of Fire Pro. Whoever was the representative of the Fire Pro Club, which will be determined by us, of course, he wanted to face him in a match to determine once and for all who is on top, Fire Pro or OCW. Now these two are still filling each other out, but I think that process has gone away as these two start to lay into each other. North Star line with a size advantage over Jesus Christ. Oh, knee. Knee to the gut. Knee to the back. Knee to the face there. Busted open many superstars before. Knee to the stomach. Drop kick there from the North Star Lion. Kick to the stomach there from Tiberius Dupree. Slowing down North Star Lion's offense is Tiberius Dupree. Headlocking him. Five minutes gone. Right now, North Star Lion hasn't been getting off any offense. Except for now, he's starting to get on a roll there with a snap suplex. Trying to use his bigger body to outstrike the monstrous Tiberius Dupree. Oh, kick to the chest A North Star Lion. Another knee to the face. And now goes for the cover there. Oh. His knees are like knives. Just tiny knives stabbing away at the North Star Lion, but with some knees of his own. And an STF. Now mounting it from the back with an arm arm lock. STF from North Star Line to Tiberius Dupree. Kick to the leg. Now I give him the figure four leg lock. Oh, I'm sorry, not the figure four, the single leg four. <laughs> the referee tonight is the slowest referee in all of OCW, Hollywood Pro, Anthony Stan. He should have retired. About 50 years ago, he's been working ever since Carl Gotch was around. I've heard he has an autograph from um, the Russian Lion. His name escapes me. Uh, George Hackenschmidt. He has arthritis in both of his hands, and he counts about as slow as he can read. He's now in it just for peanuts and money. Knee to the back dough. So if any counts go away, and if they're slow, that's on him. He works the leg there. Trying to take away the knee tower. It's a brilliant strategy from the North Star Lion, who's here defending the honor of Fire Pro. Oh, knees to the back from Tiberius Dupree. Oh, a hook there. Elbows to the face from Mr. North Star Lion. Oh, God. Elbows to the face, too. Working the arms. Gut buster. I heard that Anthony Stan was talking about the gladiator times when wrestling was first invented. He said he got up close to personal with the first ever gladiator, but hold on. Uh oh. Oh, the grape and finding the leg of the North Star Lion. T 
boat. Suplex from the North Star Lion. Oh, by the way, um, if you guys notice, there's like a little mini glitch with the referees. Anytime there's a count out, regardless of their sex, they're now, um, they're all female. Empty Stan is a tougher ref than Bruce McKinnon. If you remember Bruce McKinnon, the man who cost Senator his title. Oh, that's it! Back cracker. Going for the cover. This is one tough old man. I heard he was in the... Oh, great job there from the North Star Line. I heard that Anthony Stan was in the bear hug from uh, George Hackenschmidt for about two hours. And still walked up to live another day. Figure four again from Tiberius Dupree. Drop kick there. North Star Line now starting to pick up some momentum. Kick to the back. Now they're trading strikes. Tiberius Dupree shutting him down. But here comes North Star Line with a kick to the face. He's about to teach this punk some respect. Respect in the Fire Pro community. Jesus Christ calling all the Fire Pro community a bunch of peasants. A bunch of commoners in need of the face One. there. One, two. Great put, set of punches there. Mutso! Oh my god! This might be it! Rooks are lying out going on a roll! Referee Anthony Stan lumbers around like a mummy. One, two. two. Uh oh, that's might be at the face lock. Right in the middle of the ring. North Star can't get out. It's a nice jab there. North Star Lion knocking, knocking some sense into him. Ten years to three. Oh, <laughs> that knees are murdering him. Another knee to the throat. And he just gets right back up like it's nothing. Oh, Northern Light Suplex. This might be it. One, two. No. Oh, another abdominal stretch. More oomph this time. Closing. And clasping the throat of the North Star Lion, but he gets out. A kick to the leg there, trying to weaken the knees. Ducking. Drop kick! North Star Lion again is starting out to be on a roll. Kick to the face of Tiberius Supri. Oh, he's trying to go for an arm lock there. Elbows to the face of Tiberius Supreme, now ruining the beautiful golden locks of this once promising young man. <laughs> oh, that's it! 20 minutes gone. One, two. No, that's just a two count. Tiberius Supreme is now starting to put the clamps out to the North Star Lion. This One, might be it. Two. two. And it is! North Star Lion falls to Tiberius Dupree. And now he's talking smack to the North Star Lion. Calling him a bum. Saying to bring on more Fire Pro relics to put over. He wants to kill the Fire Pro club. That was a destructive battle between Tiberius Dupree 
and Mr. North Star Lion. Um, Tiberius Dupree, of course, being from my other show. I have a ton of shows. Jesus. All right, let's have some fun. Gonna have a, <clears throat> gonna have a eight man, eight man tornado tag match, hardcore rules, and it's gonna be a surprise. Uh, let's see who the first team will be. Um, Lion lost. Yeah, Lion got, he didn't make it. <laughs> yeah, they, they may have bribed the ref. He may have been... He may have possibly been bribed. Oh, hi, Mark. This is a hardcore match, by the way. <laughs> you, you, you guys are nuts that you love Tommy Wiseau. But you know what? If he has a fan base. So I'm going to turn this off just so you guys don't know who the partners are. I mean, who they're going up against. Let's just say... Let's just say that their partners may not have worked out for a certain big company in Atlanta. <clears throat> yep, it is under tornado rules. Um, I, I forgot to put it on. Thank you. I did remember that. I forgot to put it on. This is this is a eight eight man tornado tag match with weapons scattered all over the ring. With a surprise, <clears throat> surprise team. This is going to be pretty funny. Hopefully. <laughs> this, this is this is not going to feel good. <laughs> They're not going to feel good in the morning. <laughs> it's not true. It's bullshit. I did not hit her. I did not. All right, here we go. Fight. The ragtag team of Doink the Clown, Nacho Libre, and the one to Kid are going up against Kiss. Oh, oh God, exploding bad. This is already starting to become a massacre. Oh, God, another exploding bat. Oh, uh, by the way, not Peter Chris. Peter Chris is not part of the lineup, but Tommy was out. Gets hit, that's going exploding bat. Oh, I think I have to just busted the seat now. Oh, God. Exploding bats are everywhere. There's more exploding bats than even with the crowd. Oh, I'm sorry, Jesus, man. Oh, Tommy was so landing on the exploding bat after the drop kick. Oh, man, that was another kiss member landing on the exploding bat. You saw a shoot style there with Doink, but Doink counters it. But he gets down the There's so much action here, it's chaos. Well, as soon as he 
drop him, not the leap right here. Fall right and explode him dead. Did you know that in the state of New Jersey, explosions are not allowed? People are getting blown to bits. Exploding back doing damage to everyone. I don't know if I can keep it up. Well, Tommy Wiseau just killed everyone. Well, that match is over. Fun well blasted. The Kiss Boys winning. <laughs> Well, Tommy Wiseau being the ultimate, ultimately costing his team the match. That has to hurt. Well, you know, it was just a palate cleanser. We got another match coming up. It's going to be more serious than this. It's going to involve my opponent in a few weeks. Possibly next week. Mr. Denzian. Or Denizian, as he likes to be called. I don't know how you pronounce his name. All I know is that when I'm in the ring with him, I'm carving up his damn... I'm going to be carving him like a fucking turkey. So he's beaten my boy Matt Tremont. He's beaten a couple other hardcore guys. So there's only a few more people I have to put him through fire. And this right here is Nick fucking Gage. Craziest motherfucker I've ever met. Funny as hell, though. <clears throat> of course, he has to have Discount Dewey with him. Gotta have Discount Dewey. Tommy Tarantula belongs there. I have um, Deranged Stew is also an FMW. If uh, if you didn't see it. There's five of them! Jesus! I did have For Whom the Bells Toll. But for some reason, I think because I have another Nick Gage edit, it doesn't read it. Same thing with Denzian. I have the Judas Priest song he requested. It doesn't work. I don't know if it's because multiple wrestlers caused it, so we'll, we'll see. Fight. Oh, front face lock there, starting this match off with wrestling. As you can see, the toys scattered in the ring. This might not be a pretty match. Oh, backdrop right into the bat. And now he's choking the life. Choking the life out of the Denzian. Two angry men, two bald angry men, might I add. One from Jersey, the other one. And a nice little cushy job in Zip Japan, who is afraid of New Jersey. Nick fucking Gage. Go for a pile driver. Possibly on the chair. Oh, giving the middle finger to Denzian. Well deserved. And now a boss of crab on the chair. Oh, DDT onto the light tube. And now he's choking the life out of Denzian again. Only the JJB, uh, JJB Iron Man tournament and stuff like this allowed. Backdrop there. Now working the leg. Gage going to work on Denzia. A neck breaker there. Nick Gage looks like he's having a seizure with the chair. Now 
now choking the life out of he's choking the life out of the Denzian. I hope I'm saying his name right. It's Denzian or Denizen, or possibly Denizen. Great job there from Nick fucking Gage, Denizen going to war. Discount Dewey just staring Five away. Minutes gone. I wonder if Discount Dewey brought the pizza cutter today. Uh, Snap some lights on the light too. Moonsault. Uh, Fat ref uh, Bruce McKinnon. No. Uh, oh, I think he's earned Nick Gage's respect. Hasn't earned mine yet. Great buster there from Denizen. Stomp and a stomp. Oh, face wash. Catching a breather there. Elbow from Nick fucking Gage. By the way, our special main event for tonight, um, after the Iron Man tournament, it's going to be Simba Mufasa going up against Carl Zilla. Powerbomb onto the chairs, and now he's choking the life out of him again. Moonsault onto the chair. Gage kicks out because he's crazy. Oh, Fred Buster onto the chair. Hey. What are you doing, Dewey? Do, do something. Oh, another Fred Buster there. But Dick Gage stands up. It didn't affect him. Going to the sleeper hold, trying to crush the windpipe of Denizen. Hooks on the back of the head of Denizen. Giving him the middle finger again. Elbow drop. Oh, Moonsault! Stood up immediately. Good God, he's too much going on. First that Nick Gage says F you. Um having a seizure with the chair again. Yeah. I think the chairs are lava. <laughs> and they both collide coconut heads. I'm pretty sure they're gonna be feeling that in the morning or possibly a concussion. Oh, that was the sound of their skulls colliding, yeah. full bugger. Moon salt there. Five, I think both of them haven't seen each other, haven't wrestled one another. There's still a bit of nerves there. Possible tension. Oh, middle finger there. Tell him to go fuck himself. But he reversed his dragon suplex. Rip. Nick fucking Gage. Denison trading bombs in this match. Elbows to the back of the skull, I heard that throughout the arena. Going up to the top, elbow drop onto the back of the Denison. Oh wait, Denison standing up and mood salting. I think this match is taking more out of Nick Gage than it is out of Denison. As Denison keeps getting back up. Rolling with the punches. Oh, great cluster there from Nick Gage. Going for the cover. Oh, has him right in the middle of the ring. This might be it. Discount Dewey's not going to distract him either. Here we 
go. Drop kick to the face of Nick Gage. Oh, a low blow there from Nick Gage. Middle finger again. Pile driver onto the chair. Missed it by an inch. Uh oh, stacking those chairs up high. Think he might clothesline him. And now he's trying to choke the life out of him. That's it, it's over! Big fucking Gage wins! He wins! upset. Did not also expect to hear for whom the bell tolls. Well, I know what else is going to be tolling. Twitch TV coming after coming after this channel again and muted me. <laughs> um, okay, that wasn't as funny as I thought it would have been. Alright. Um, we're going to have an eight-man gimmick battle royal weapons in the ring. This is gonna be brutal. It's gonna be gimmicks galore. Hold on, let's see here. Do, do, do. Yeah, he's choking the windpipe. <clears throat> so last time we had PN News in there, right? If I remember right. <clears throat> let's put in some more fun gimmicks. Oh, Mantar, of course, has to be in this. Mantar. You can't have one without Skinner. Skinner's definitely going to be in there. Oops, that's that's actual OCW. Let's see here. Bugsy McGraw. If only he was a gimmick. Oh, uh, Jimmy the King. Jimmy King. There we go, the Matador. Hercules? Hercules Hernandez? Eh, no, it's not a gimmick. Oh, Evil Doink definitely is going to be there. Who do you still think is the worst gimmick of all time? I, I would still have to go with either the Laser Tron or possibly the Yeti. Anyone remember the Yeti? Yeah, welcome to Oz. <clears throat> We're all going to Oz. Yeah, I put him there. <laughs> Oh, that's a that's not the good Papa Strong though. Um, no, 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 not that Chris Bosch. There is actually a Chris Bosch. Um, there is a wrestler named Chris Bosch. Where is my favorite? Hold on, I'm looking for... I would count Giant Haystacks as a gimmick, but I don't think being fat should count as a gimmick at the same time. There we go, eight men. And a chance at a match later tonight against somebody. Let's see, who should judge this? There we go, Chris Hansen from Dateline NBC is going to be refing this madness. Eight-man scramble with weapons. Fight! There, you, there goes freight train, I think. Mantar. 
Oh, did I fuck up the arena? Oh god, he fell the exploding bat. He's already busted open. Predators and cheaters will be caught tonight. There will be no major interference and Chris Hansen's on the case. I did remember one time he made a manager cry after proving that his defenders interfere in the match. Gene Douglas. The Dean of Dean against Oz. Ooh! Skinner! There's Skinner! Normally I'm never the wild one. No, I'm sorry, the bad one. Yes, this match was so bad they had to move it to another arena. <laughs> It was pretty bad. They didn't want to sanction this match. Also because New Jersey doesn't like explosions. We have to put this in the off-site in Pennsylvania. They love explosions down in Pennsylvania. The, the explosions are very weird. You could be like maybe an inch away from it, and it's still kind of like explosion. I'm surprised no one's been eliminated yet. Still with eight men in the ring. Stupid a slam that said Dork is out! D. Douglas eliminated Dork! Justice has been rendered in first. Oh, low blow there. I didn't even know who was who right now. Oh, God, Mantar with a Larian. I hope Freight Train was this. Oh, Tito Santana, goodbye, Chico. Hey. My favorite to win. Oh, Dee Douglas again with another elimination. And the fans start to leave as Tito Santana has been eliminated. Oh, man, Tar might win this match. He might win the whole enchilada. Bad. 
good he's used to hunting alligators, but I don't think he's used to hunting Oz. A low blow there from Freight Train. Belly to belly? No, belly to back from Deep Douglas. That's a Freight Train. Freight Train missing, of course, in a match like this, of course. Um, what the hell is that, Freight Train? Stop that. Oh, God, no one wanted to see that. And thank you, Team Douglas, for eliminating the Freight Train. This has probably been one of the most bizarre matches I've ever had to call. This is really one of the most bizarre matches I've ever had to call. This match is bloody violent, but at the same time, I kind of want to go to the bathroom. A scoop and a slam there from Dean Douglas. Dean Douglas, obviously, he didn't solve that equation. Well, actually, he did. He did solve that equation. He took him out of the match. And, and of course, these two collide. <laughs> Tight to the ring. Oh man, stamping out the balls of Dean Douglas. Lamps right on the table. Or possibly Skinner ripped his pants in half. At this point, I don't know what the hell's going on in this match. Close line. Manhattan drop. Manhattan drop. I was expecting a third Manhattan drop. He would have taken him to Manhattan City. Oh, wait, no, man, it isn't the city, it's in New York City. The Manhattan Massacre, I like that. It's also ensuring for our great promoter that none of these wrestlers get anyone ring rats pregnant. Back suplex. Oh, this ring looks like it's been filled with Mortal Kombat. Looks like someone just was in the ring and was executed. Fans uh, booing this match right now. Sometimes you can't have winners, but... You gotta turn chicken salad into chicken shit. I don't know, it wasn't the other way around. I don't remember. This is just awkward. Uppercuts there. Both of them are knocked out by Skinner. Uppercuts. Boy, our B show circuit has to be really bad. Oh, look at the power moves there. Skinner, Mantor. People that should hate each other. Oh, never mind. Oh, D. Douglas has been eliminated by Skinner. Thank goodness. Now Skinner gets to go hunt Oz. Or is he hunting the Mantar? No, he's hunting Oz. The F Tour Circuit. <laughs> yeah, this, this takes place in um, Anchorage, Alaska, where this match is at. This is the main event in Anchorage, Alaska for my Iron Man tournament. That's right, Skinner is the only one not bleeding yet. I'm telling you, Lady Justice is dying tonight. Actually, I think Skinner is bleeding. Oh, wow, British fall there from Skinner. Didn't expect that. This is one of the weirdest matches of all time. Matt Dickey wouldn't have anything on this match. Headbutt. Maybe Mantar will finally get his, his vengeance after losing his battle royal against Guy LaDouche from the MXC. 20 minutes he lost via chair illusion. Critical. And that does happen, people. But there's no one with a chair illusion tonight. That's a 
tears keep coming, the blood keeps flowing. And of course, they all gas out. I'm gonna gas out too if I have to watch more of this. The F so circuit is terrible. I heard um, on the card, Angelo Mosca Jr. went up against the Assassin 1 in a 60-minute Broadway. Also on the card on this show circuit. Um, let's see here. SC Jones goes a 60-minute Broadway with Johnny Rhodes. Oh, dear God, what have I done to this city? I don't think Mr. T can see it. <laughs> Mr. T looks like a night elf mohawk and they all three run into each other. This looks like a Mortal Kombat. Well, thanks to this match going a bit too long, um, we will cut out Paul Zilla against Simba Mufasa, that'll be for next show. Uh, the special main event will be Dice K Muscle Monster Sekimoto against Ghostface Killer. And of course, all three of them freaking run into each other. I'm rooting for Skinner because I'm a fan of the fabulous ones. No one's going for a cover. Nobody's going for a cover. Oh, why would you break it up, you idiot? There's nothing too sweet about that. Oh, God, what have I done? This is a, a bloody massacre. Oh god, I'm gonna exploding death. I'm gonna exploding death. Skinner gas. Skinner looking really gas. And he gassed himself out. And I have never seen that happen. This is horrible. Skinner is gassed. Oz is gassed. Mantar is gassed. I'm pretty sure their necks and discs have split open. Eventually somebody will win this match and everyone will thank me for never booking this again. Be out of the ring. No, of course not. He misses by an anchor. Apparently, the fans of Anchor Alaska do not have high standards. As they're cheering this match on with glee. Probably because not that much wrestling happens there. I heard Kud Babiski was there. Also on the show, Papa Shango. Went a 60 minute Broadway with Val Venus. And finally, the. Oh, Mantar's gone. Skinner eliminating Mantar. We might be saying goodbye to. Oh, Skinner wins! He did it! The dream! The boyhood dream has been lived. Skinner winning the Battle Royal. He did it! Skinner did it! And he's going to be transported to the arena later tonight for a special match. 96%? In what universe? <laughs> I 
I, I wouldn't let that go after that. <laughs> I wouldn't have guessed Skinner either. So your guess is as good as mine. All right, let me just make sure I've got the tournament matches right tonight. <clears throat> we all know the main event is going to be... Uh, main event, of course, is going to be Cowboy Johnson against the Hangman. That's going to be a brutal match. <clears throat> Let's see. What should we start off first? I, uh, uh, We're going to start off with the match I've been wanting to see for a while. The Horrible Hood against Freddy Tavern. Wow, it's in this arena. I didn't see that coming. At the age of five, I had something in my pocket. That keeps a lot of folks alive. And I'm now. Yeah! I'm 21. Yeah, Horrible Hood is so bad he doesn't even have his own music. <laughs> oh, poor guy. He's 0-6 uh, in the tournament. Oh, I'm sorry, 0-5. Still hasn't gained a victory yet. I'm cheering for the guy. Oh. Oh, wait, wait, wait. That's why. Okay, hold on. My bad. I'm not putting weapons in there. That, that would explain a lot. Yeah, there's no weapons in there. All right, let's start over again. <clears throat> I think we'll go back to the old arena now. No, it won't. All right, we saw that already. Fight. <laughs> Full bug hat. Uh, I mean, um, horrid, horrid hood. I refuse to still call him horrible hood. To me, he's not bad. You know what? It's not his fault that he loses all the time. He, he just can't catch a break. Anytime he tries to generate an offense, he just is out of position in the ring. Headbutt there from Freddy Tapper. Guys like Horrid Hood are, are great young talents, but they just lose a lot, when, especially when you step up your competition. When you feed on tomato cans in Chicago and skinny tadpoles. <clears throat> Club to the back there. Freddie Tavern now. He told me uh, in an interview that this match should not be any sweat. I will beat him until he fucking bleeds and until he fucking dies. Well, I'm telling you, man, we're rooting for this man from Chicago. Um, I mean, this whole tournament was basically to make sure you prop yourself up. You start out fresh, then you become somebody famous. Horrible hood. He just never got on track. He was like a, a train that wasn't built correctly. 95% of it is good, but the 5% that isn't just ends up killing everyone on the board. I just can't, I just don't know why he can't get it together. Oh, Lariat there from Freddy Tavern. <clears throat> well, if he does lose again tonight, um, I have heard that I've heard the Tiberius Creed, Jesus Christ himself, said that he can score, scrub his floors, wash his car, and after that, maybe, just maybe he'll learn how to wrestle. Horrible hook there, going to the headbutts, trying to will himself back into this match. Freddy Tavern owning most of it. Now Horrid Hood now going on the offensive. Stop there. Another stop to the stomach. The leg drop to the throat. Five minutes gone. Oh, that's it. That's his finisher. Oh, he did go for the cover. Horrible Hood having a horrible time at this tournament. All the kids in Chicago right now that look to this guy as an inspiration are probably turning in and burning their Horrid Hood books. His book, I've Crossed the Line. 
old enough. But I'm pretty sure people thought that it was a book about Total Nonstop Action Wrestling, aka GFW. But he's on the attack, he's on the prowl, Horde Hood is destroying any notion that he doesn't belong here. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, now Freddy Tavern yeah. opening up his yap. Slowing the pace down for Horde Hood. Now Horde Hood taps him in the back. One, two. He has to avoid those British lariats anytime he sees Freddy Tavern gaining ahead of steam. He has to go away. Oh my god. That's a British lariat. Took his skull off. Oh, point one to spare. Dear god, if this ended early. This would not <laughs> this would not go well for Horde Hood's confidence. I have a feeling tonight might be the night Horde Hood finally gains a victory. This has to be destiny he kicked out of the British Fall. The only man that kicked out of the British Fall in this tournament has been crippling Chris Thompson. He's getting lariated all over the place. Back suplex. This might be Horde Hood's night. More lariats there for Freddy Tavern. Scooping a slam there from the Horde Hood. Double well, drop cover. But of course, bad positioning cost him again. That power bomb from Freddy Tavern. A choke slam from the Horde Hood. Now he's saying it's over. Ten minutes gone. <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> no, they do not hold the carpet when they do the move. Horde Hood now on a roll. Again! It's it again! He should go for the cover now. Freddy Tavern gets up like it's nothing. A choke slam from the Horde Hood, saying, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, taking his neck out with a discus lariat. I think Freddy Tavern may have underestimated this guy. And that might be his downfall if he loses this match. Hoodamania is running wild. It's trending number 15 on Twitter tonight. Belly to back suplex there from Horde Hood. But he stunned himself. Freddy Tavern now on the offensive. A headbutt from the Horde Hood. Horde Hood now sucking some air. Freddy Tavern just kicks him in the family jewels and calls it a day. Flex there from Freddy Tavern. Horde Hood stands right back up. Say he gets nothing. Oh, he's gonna go for a back suplex. Ebb and flow, this match has been going either way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This might be yeah. his downfall, too. Hubris. Freddy Tavern keeps opening his mouth. Now just holding on for that suplex. Oh, belly to belly suplex. There. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Again, opening his mouth when he shouldn't. He should be trying to concentrate on putting away the Horde Hood. Horde Hood is a tough man to put away. Two of his matches ah. have gone the longest. I would say he's the Iron Man of this damn tournament. Freddy Tavern now, suplexing him, wearing him down. Punch, elbow, who's gonna win the strike exchange? Port Hood wins, oh, ah! Freddy Tavern, they both trade lariats and knock each other down. But Freddy Tavern now starting to wear his energy wavering a bit. This is where all that jaw jacking will cost him. Port Hood looks fresh as a winter's daisy. 
Which was Daisy? What was I thinking? Precious is Daisy. Precious laundry. This is it. No, it's not. Stalling suplex there. The hooded drop. Dodging a lazy lariat from Freddy Tavern. Now he's going to slow the match there with a stalling suplex. A choke slam there from the Horde Hood. Put it drop. Stalling suplex again. Laying the blood rush to the head of the Horde Hood. And now he has him right where he wants him. Pretty small! Pretty slurrier! But he gets right back up! That was his finisher! Lord Hood is on a roll! He's on a mission to win! And this might be it! Why isn't he going for the cover? Oh, German suplex out to the neck of Freddy Tavern. Oh, God! He ran to ref Bruce McKinnon! And now Freddy Tavern taking that to his advantage. Oh, this ref is going to be down for a while. Larry. One, two. Oh my god, that could have been three. That was a three count. But the referee was down, licking his wounds. Larry up there. From Freddy Tavern, still getting up for a good refusing to die. Oh man, the ref almost got knocked out again. British fall, British Larry, but he still gets back up. 20 minutes gone. 20 minutes have gone in this match. Oh my gosh, will it end like this? And it does! Freddy Tavern picks up the game. Yeah! Yeah! Oh god. Another error for Bruce McKinnon! Winning! Lord Hood doesn't get the victory! Good jeez! Alright, let's see. That, that was horrible. Um, Lord Hood had that one, except the referee got injured, so. Sometimes you just can't do do things the way you wanted them to do it. So we got Stant Classic going up against Crippled Christopherson coming up soon, but right now we got Plato going up against Deadeye Jeb Ginger. <coughs> well horrible hood has still has one more chance to Go for a victory. Dead Eye Jeb Ginger. Thunderstruck about Mr. Plato. He's going to kill him. That's what Je Jeb Ginger said. Fight. This is a, a match about people who crippled Cowboy Johnson's neck. And again, it's Play-Doh, not Play-Doh. Play-Doh the philosopher, not the toy that you swallow when you're a kid. And hopefully it's not toxic. This is an interesting match. The ground game of Play-Doh against the striking attack of Jedi, Deadeye Jeb Ginger. And already he's going for that right cross that knocked out Cowboy Johnson into the next galaxy. Low blow there from Deadeye. Two guys are trading strikes in close. Going for a suplex early. Probably not the smartest move. One. And Bruce McKinnon's voice changed. <laughs> Slamming him down. Choking him out. Plato has to work. Work on a grounding. Jeb, Jeb Ginger, making sure he never gets up. <laughs> That's funny. 
Uh, no, the winner will not get bragging rights over the right to kill Cowboy Johnston. If he gets uh, critical again tonight by the hangman, then maybe we'll talk about that. We'll see. And now they're chopping away, chopping away. Headbutt there from Deadeye. Another diving headbutt from Deadeye. Suplex from Plato. A lot of people say they don't know what they're doing in this tournament. Whoa, whoa. Get up. Get up. Elbows, of course, grinding. Again, headbutt. Clubbing blow to the back. Uh, strike to the knee. A headbutt to the back. Clubbing Five blow. Minutes gone. Three jabs to the face unanswered by Plato. And a three headbutt combo unanswered by Plato. I just got news tonight that uh, the Senator's hand, I mean, um, sorry, Cowboy Johnson's handler, the Senator, Steve Phillips, has stated that if he does get injured or critical to this match, he will not be able to perform on any senatorial shows. So, if Cowboy Johnson's listening to this, you know what you have to do. Oh, God! That's it, game over! He killed him! He ain't getting up! Did I living up to his name again? Two criticals in this tournament. And that's what I was talking about. You gotta keep him grounded. The moment you let him punch is the moment you die or spell your doom. A punch to the back of the head. Plato's gonna need some help getting to the back. Alright, people, let's go. Let's get some let's get some staff here. Well, let's take a look at the rankings. Dead Eye Jim Ginger catching up, but a little bit too late. Plato now has only nine points. Freddie Tavern has 20. Crippler Christopherson with 20. 25 with the Hangman. And now we're going to have a match between Crippler Christopherson against Stan Classic. Dan Classic coming out. Confidence brimming after pushing the Hangman to the limit. The Hangman is undefeated in this tournament. And hasn't looked as vulnerable with anyone else but Stan Classic. This is going to be a bruising technical brawl. Here comes Tripling Christopherson. You ask me if I'm happy now. That's good as any joke I've heard It seems since I seen you last I've done forgot the meaning of the word If happiness is... Hi. Here we go, Crippling Christopherson, Stan Classic Stan Classic, of course With an advantage in the power game Crippley Christopherson is a deadly submission artist, and he proved that he's also a deadly striker when he lariated him. But he got kicked in the stomach there from Stan Classic. Um, we're told that Mr. Plato is okay. He's a bit shaken up from that punch, but he's fine. Kicked to the stomach again from Stage Classic. Trying to slow the smash and grind it out. That's a brilliant move. Chop there. Clubbing blow to the back. A kick to the back of the neck. Um, I also heard he also has the same doctor as Cowboy Johnston. Who has uh, said he's clear to go. Oh, slamming him down. Uh, Plato is, by the way. Plato. Is. Yeah. But 
kick to the back of the head. Yeah! Power. The, the grunting might irk some people, but when you grunt, you generate more power behind a lot of your a lot of uh, your blows. I can't explain it. I used to box. I used to grunt myself. And uh, it, I can't explain why, but it just you generate more power when you grunt. I would say that's probably not a good idea, but since uh, Crippler Chris Armstrong is not known as a hard striker, you, you'll be okay. But now he's trying to slow it down there again. Crippler Chris Armstrong trying to put some submissions, trying to drag the match out a bit. They're still in the feeling out process. Stan Classic kind of has an idea what Crippler Chris Armstrong is. Crippler Chris Armstrong right now is trying to solve the puzzle that is Stan Classic. Headbutt miss from Stan Classic. Yeah. Missing a lariat there, and he gets pays for a lazy lariat Five minutes with a submission gone. hold from Crippen Christopherson. But he uses his power game again, throws him down, starts to kick him a couple yeah. times, clubs him to the back, goes for a cover. Whoa. Just a one count there. Missing a lariat again. Suplex from Crippling Chris Jefferson. Elbow to the back of the neck of Stan Classic. Suplex from Crippling Chris Jefferson. A chop to the stomach from Crippling Chris Jefferson. Oh, lariat there. Suplex. <clears throat> One, two. Bruce McKinnon showing why he's the toughest ref in the game with the elbow pads. Now these two are starting to strike. Let's see who comes out on top. Stag Classic, of course, coming out on top. He weighs more, is a bit more powerful than Triple Christopherson. Larry up there. Driver. Neck breaker for Crippling Christopherson. A kick to the stomach there. A torture Boston Crab. These two guys, uh, yeah. oh wow, kick to the stomach there. Yeah. Whoever wins this, I do believe is going to be number two. Oh, and if the Hangman loses tonight, the next match, if Hangman loses the next match tonight and Crippler Christopherson happens to win, then their match next week will determine who is the winner. Yeah. Of this tournament overall. Elbow to the back of the neck again. Stan Classic over a cover. Neck breaker there from Crippler Christopherson. Oh, taking the neck out. Now he climbs to the top. What does the crippling one have? Body press. And now Stan Classic getting ready to finish off Crippling Christopherson. He's a dangerous opponent. He's someone you don't want to mess with. Very cagey individual. One, two, Throws him three. out. Oh Four, God! Slams him down. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. It might be going to twenty. Ten, no one gets any points. Hangman will 11, still be on top. Twelve, thirteen, one. 
if Crippling Christopherson doesn't get any points for this whatsoever, I think Hangman will have this uh, league clinched already if he can finish off tonight. So this is a very desperate match for Crippling Christopherson as he knocks down Stan Classic. Oh, Lariat. Discus Lariat there. Back switch. Oh, chicken wing slam. Neck breaker. Somehow Stan Classic is still standing after all this. And now he has a goal to say he's going to finish him off. Classic maker, a gold maker. One, two, no. Stopping him to the back of the head, stopping him to the back. And only a two count, that Rainmaker, by the way, somehow. Lariat there. Stopping on the head and neck again of Crippling Christopherson. Trying to blunt out his submission will and his willpower. Close on there. Yeah. Discus close on. Torture rack right in the Keep middle up. of the ring. This might be it. Keep up. Keep up. No. Uh, Crippler Christopherson, of course, getting out. Saying this is it, Crippler Christopherson says. No, Coconut Crush there from Stan Classic. Using his power gain to his full advantage. Yeah. Lariat from Stan Classic. Neck breaker there. Yeah. Tossing him now, just using power, but he gets up again. Crippler Christopherson not feeling the pain right now. Lariat. Golden powerbomb time. No. Torture rack. And he gets it. He gets the Duke. State Classic gets the Duke. He wins with the torture rack. He beat Crippler Christopherson with a submission. What an upset. So with this victory, that means that if the Hangman can win this match, he pretty much has this synced up and he wins. So can the Hangman close it out and end it? Cowboy Johnson coming out. Um, if you haven't been watching the last two episodes of my tournament, I don't know why. <laughs> Cowboy Johnson hasn't had the best of luck. His neck is broken. His body is broken. Bub is here. Bubs are here. Is that my boy Jake? The Bub Master himself? All right, that's enough. I get the message. Fight. Hey, how you doing, man? Well, anyway, we got the Hangman going up against Cowboy Johnson. If the Hangman can win this match, he pretty much has his tournament synced. But he has to defeat a tough customer in Cowboy Johnson. Cowboy Johnson, the last two matches of the tournament, he was carted out of the ring and sent to the hospital. Broken neck and all. The Hangman's one ugly looking dude. Uh, he told me that he was there when Anne Boleyn was executed and he personally cut her head off. Cowboy Johnson, for those of you who haven't seen him. Cowboy Johnson starts off like a rocket, like a bat out of hell, but then he runs out of steam. The Hangman. He's just a monster, and now his eyes are getting burned. 
Throwing a hook there, a scoop and a slam from the hangman, and now he's grinding the elbow into the face of the cowboy. All the eyes are on this match right now. Ankle. Ankle lock from the hangman. If he does win this match, the tournament is his to lose. He pretty much can win this tournament by winning tonight. I do notice a bit of hesitation from Cowboy Johnston. Not up to his usual aggression. Maybe it has started to dawn on him that he's been getting injured a lot now with the elbows grinding into his neck. Oh, showing defiance, grinding his elbow into the hangman's neck. Now they're going to start trading strikes. Cowboy Johnson coming out on top. Just take a look at the clock down there, ladies and gentlemen. When the clock hits 10, 10 minutes, Cowboy Johnson starts to guess out. Snap suplex there from Cowboy Johnson. Starting to stamp away at the shoulder. Power slam, and now rubbing the elbow again, riding on that face. Five See, the Cowboy, gone. when he's gas, he still has the same fire, same intensity, but he lacks the snap, lacks some of the power behind some of those moves. Think of him more as a wounded animal near death, and he gets skipped and slammed from the hangman. And a Boston Crab. a one. Two. Somehow our referee three, Chris McKinnon turns to a woman. Four. Five. If the hangman loses this match, his match next week against Crippler Chris Thompson will determine who wins this tournament. This is a winner go home scenario. Oh, is it? Oh, I didn't know that's the PA voice. I keep getting that mixed up. Cowboy Justin hitting him in the gut, with the knee, and that stuff him in the back of the head. A headbutt there from the Hangman, and now Boston grabs him right by the ropes. Arm and backward. Ah. Power slam. A headlock and a punch and a using his 300-pound body frame. The bubbleless body of the Hangman onto the stand uh, of Cowboy Johnston. The Boston Crab there, again using his weight. Lariat, lazy kick from Cowboy Johnston. Now he has a face claw. Uh, his nails grinding onto his eyes. The hangman now running out of gas though himself. That Bubulous Frame can't do anything himself. Ah, Bubulous Frame starting to show itself. Now Face Claw there. A scoop and a slam. One. One. Both two, men are now outside. Three. Throwing each other to four, the wolves. Five, Not giving a shit about what goes on. Oh six, God. Oh God. Seven. Will this be it? Ten, Will they go to 20? 10 minutes 11, gone. 12, 13. The hangman showing how brutal he is in his uh, methodicalness. We Now saying we, it's time to go. Uh, power slam. He's about to throw him out there. Showing off his muscles. One, two. I don't think Johnson wants to keep taking bumps to the outside on his neck. Probably not the best thing for him. Road for a cover. Johnson kicks out. Headbutt from the hangman. Whee! Oh! What a move there from Cowboy Johnston. 
This might be it, an upset. No. The Amarillo Sunset. Cowboy Johnson's finisher. He nails it, but he just couldn't put him away. He's trying to just do this for himself, trying to win. Trying to get him. Get back on the points board, but he's just he's stuck. Sure. All those neck injuries are starting to rack up. a power slam. Another power slam there. Punch to the face. Yes! The hangman saying yes like a creepy villain. Like a creepy villain from G.I. Joe. Part of the Cobra organization. And now he's a real press slamming him again. Tell him to get up. Power bomb there. Snap power bomb. Another elbow to the face. Oh, brain buster to the outside. Trying to give his own neck trauma to the hangman. Two. Is he gonna do it? Three. Oh, a cowboy is gonna fly. What hangman? Came back and now he's just pumping him up. The hangman and now Cowboy Johnson are trading strikes again. Telling him no, no, no. And now he ran out of gas. Oh, that could have been a three count with how long he's been down. Ducks a lazy lariat, but he can't follow up because he's tired. There it is, the hangman's noose. This is it. Get up. Get up. He has no stamina to escape, but he does. That's just pure tiredness from, from the Irish whipping him. After the clock hit 10, One. he got tired. One, two, and now the hangman's going to work, three, working on the neck, not four, giving a shit about his injuries. One, two, three, four, five. These two men sucking wind, sucking air, trying to see what next big move they got next. A punch to the stomach from the cowboy. And now he got him in the hangman's noose again. This is it. Get up. Get up. This might be it. We Emerald Sunset! Emerald Sunset! This is it! One! Five, two! Three. Oh my god! He's just defeated the hangman! He did it! The Hangman is no longer undefeated. Our next match next week. The match next week will determine who wins this league and who wins the championship between Crippling Christofferson and The Hangman. Cowboy Johnston pretty much saving everyone. And now next week, Cowboy Johnson is going to have a date with the Horrid Hood. A lot of storylines into that one. Can Cowboy Johnston finally end this tournament on a high note? Or will Horrid Hood get his first ever victory? And also next week, well not next week, whenever our next show is, it's going to be Stan Classic against Mr. Plato. Two men, two powerful men with power moves. And then finally, we have Freddy Tavern against the Hangman. Oh, wait, what? Triple, oh, Christopherson faced the Hangman already? Oh, shit. I didn't know that. Well, that threw a monkey wrench in my thing. Anyway, <clears throat> Crippler Christopherson, Dead Eye Deb Ginger, uh, Dead Eye Jeb Ginger are going one on one next week. Basically, both have to win out. If the Hangman wins, 
Next week, he wins the entire tournament. Crippler Christopherson wins. He wins the tournament. Freddy Tavern going up against the Hangman. It's going to be a tough battle. Crippler Christopherson going up against Dead Eye Jim Ginger. He looks like a monster. Probably don't want to face off against Dead Eye Jim Ginger. He's on a hot streak. He got hot at the right time. And now, finally, the main event of why you all came here. The AAW Heavyweight Championship is on the line. And it's going to be the Ghostface Killer, Mr. Tony Starks himself. Going up against the muscle monster, Daisuke Sekimoto. And who should ref this match? It's going to be, of course, Mr. Akio. Akio. Akio? Am I saying that right? And here he is, the Ghostface Killer, Mr. Tony Starks himself. Also, the uh, also stole a, a belt from Hollywood Pro. No longer in our lineage. Right before the merger happened, when, uh, when the other OCW company came in. Refuses to give it back, and apparently he melted our old H Hollywood Pro Wrestling Championship belt into a golden piece. And here comes this muscle monster, Daisuke Sekimoto. That's a tough customer all around. He's gonna give Go Ghostface Killer hell tonight. Fight. Ghostface Killer boosting a uh, height advantage against Daisuke Sekimoto. And a bit of a power advantage as well. Daisuke in size, um, a bit smaller than Ghostface Killer. Ghostface Killer starting to work on the ground game here. Punch to the face from the Ghostface Killer. Here comes the suplex, no. Another suplex from Daisuke Sekimoto, the muscle monster. Oh, aggressive as hell, chasing after the Ghostface Killer wherever he goes. Ball away slam from the Ghostface Killer. Knee to the face from the Ghostface Killer, and a kick to the Nant. Top there from Dice K. A poke to the eye from the Ghostface Killer. Headbutt from the Ghostface Killer. Going for the cover. Elbow to the face. And here comes a stalling suplex. No, suplex from Ghostface Killer instead. Suplex, no. Another suplex there from the Ghostface Killer. Giving him the number one side, saying he's number one. Now these two are trading shots. Elbow and a punch in the face. Ghostface Killer's been in a bit of a tear this year. He had a 60 minute Broadway with Hulk Hogan. Hold on, look out. Stalling suplex from Daisuke Sakimoto. Ghostface also was at one point the WCW, AAW, Hollywood Pro, and he was also the FMW World Champion. Ghostface Killer, a dominant force in the wrestling industry today. Elbows to the face, but he hasn't met Sekimoto in combat yet. German suplex, this is it! Oh, he has point one to spare from that. Making him pay. Oh, he misses. He's going for an elbow drop. Five minutes gone. Another German, that's it. No. Now more desperation in Ghostface Killer's offense. I think there's a superflex coming. And it is superflex. Sharpshooter. Trapping the legs of the Ghostface Killer. All the way slam from the Ghostface Killer. Punch in the face. Oh, here we go. 
Show no mercy. Punch combination from the Ghostface Killer. Leg drop there. Reversing that. Leg drop again. Oh, torture rack. Caught Ghostface Killer. Get up. He was showing him the shadow, shadowing shadow boxing. And then he got German suplex onto his neck. Uh oh. The man with the iron claw hits him right in the throat. Going again for a leg drop. Ghostface Killer trying to pick his moves carefully. Lariat there. Oh, a spear. Snap powerbomb coming. Snap powerbomb, here it comes. Spinning him around. Punched him right in the face and caught him. Think he's number one. Here comes the iron claw again. Oh, brain buster. Or a suplex, as the Americans would call it, from the Ghostface Killer. Uh, I like it. Is uh, Lazuka. Ten minutes gone. I thought I'd just hate Tai Chi. Yeah! Ah! Oh, giant swing again. Get up. Get up. Get up. Larry it again. Below the stomach. And now a torture. Busted crab. There we go, face killer. Keep up. Keep up. Headbutt. And now another leg drop from the ghost face killer. Larry it there. Larry it again. Cole for cover. Ghostface Killer standing defiant. Backdrop there from the Ghostface Killer. Now they're trading strikes again. Ah! Oh, Lariat. They both knock each other out with Lariats. Ghostface catching his breath. He doesn't go to the air as much. Another snap power bomb. Ah! Will this be it? Nick breaker there. Swing from the Ghostface Killer. Keep up. Keep up. Yeah! Show no mercy. Chest boxing with Daisuke Sekimoto. Oh, kick it out. Oh, stunning him. Oh, he's swinging him again. Will he give up? No. Dragon suplex, this is it. One, two. No. Great buster. Oh, wow, putting one to spare as well. 
Ghostface Killer show no mercy. Elbow drop from the Ghostface Killer. This might be it. No. Oh, another back grapple countered. Iron Claw time. One. No. Oh, great buster. Drag so much to the outside. His neck has to be hurt. There's no count outs in this one. We don't win like that. Suplex to the outside from the Ghostface Killer. Uh oh, here comes a chair. Oh, sit down, powerbomb onto the chair. Oh, God. Hitting him head first onto those, onto the guardrails. To the ring. He's a bit stunned still from the knees. Ah! Ghostface winning the exchange. Yeah! Oh, head clashing. Here comes a spinning suplex. Oh, ho, ho. spinning blazing tornado from the Ghostface Killer. Oh, kick to the thigh there. Oh, torture rack, this is it. Nice K, the title defense. That should be it for tonight. Daisuke Sekimoto, Ghostface Killer, giving a match for the ages. Maybe you tune in next time for the finale of this league. Ahem. Daisuke Sekimoto will defend his title. Oh, I'm almost done, uh, Mr. Chaotic. This is it. Uh, I'm done. This is the last match, bro. Anyway, next, um, tomorrow night, it'll be AJ Styles going up against Daisuke Sekimoto whenever the next one is. Um, and then finally, in next week, it's once in a lifetime. It'll be the series finale of the JJB Ironman League. And it'll, the main event will be Josh the Jersey Boy going one-on-one. -on -one with a denizen. It'll be a brutal, violent clash with blood, guts everywhere. Also on that card will be the debut of Brad Pope, the ultra-violent warrior from up north in Canada. And also, Matt Tremont will be in action as well. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in. You grab a cold one and go to sleep. Good night, everyone.